How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is, then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard! Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. 
You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. this way. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here! Ah, this is a goddamn mess! Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. It's so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel, talk to the Council. 
The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us! <clears throat> you sure about that? No, but you're a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Lieutenant Commander! Ashley! Damn it, they're in trouble. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get to that gunship. Over here. I found a radio. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating its distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Uh, uh, Lieutenant! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. They get there soon. You and me both. Over here! Get in cover!
Welcome back, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard, sustained heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. No way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find his outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Vrothian archives with on Dr. Tassoni. We have found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. 
This is Loco. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. No contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Ash. Please, trust me. I do. It's just that... Thank <laughs> you. 
Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm... sorry about Earth. Yeah. It was... difficult to leave. Ashley, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the Archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. They're getting closer. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. Not a problem for someone with biotics. Forever. Got it. That's all of them. Good. Let's find a way up. Hmm. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but hey, did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Corre. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as... Ugh. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends. Loved ones. What I'd lose if I failed. Me too. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. I believe you. Or I believe that you believe. Maybe that's enough. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Look out! 
No kidding. Is that the only way in? It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Don't let it target you! Keep your head down. Shepard. Looks like they've made it to the Archives. And it looks like they won't be sitting a tram anytime soon. Can you override? The Archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not completely. What if we could find a short-range transmitter? Helmet to helmet. And? And then we convince them that we're with them. And the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Lieutenant Commander has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... Oh! Oh, God. He looks like a husk. Yeah. Not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. Engineered? By Cerberus? They claim to stand for humanity, and they do this to their own people. That could have been you, Shepard. For all I knew, that's what Cerberus had done to you. How can you compare me to that thing? I don't know what you are. Not since they got their hands on you. Is it really you? Would you even know if they were controlling you somehow? That's not fair, Ash. I'm just talking out loud. I don't need you to answer. I... I doubt there's anything you could say to convince me. I guess I just need some time to get to know you again. I'm the same person I always was. Time won't change that. But if that's what you need, I understand. Thanks. For understanding. You bet. Let's see if we can get that tram sent over here. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, LC. Yep. Got it! Got it. Here they come. 
Ash. Shepard. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proves that. That base was an abomination. Hundreds of thousands of humans were murdered there. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard, and I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose, and despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. away from the console. Now! Uh, she's got the data! She's faster than she looks. Stay close. We can't lose her.
I got this one. Ashley needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Command. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Lieutenant Commander Williams was critically wounded. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? 
Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Lieutenant Commander Williams? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Shepard. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm going to check on Ashley and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. What's going on here? Commander. Just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you wanted an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. 
Aye, aye, Commander. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. The Council called the invaders Reapers. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strengths to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan, a blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together, but it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, 
Meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud, you were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that c -Sec and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> It's killing me about Earth. You and me both. 
I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bint seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. 
Slow down, specialist trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Commander? Come to check on your new recruit? Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. 
Al although I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. With my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. <clears throat> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the Council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Just came down to talk. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <clears throat> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <clears throat> was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. 
That's a tough call. <sighs> the best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. <clears throat> you didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn... <clears throat> Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge. You can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy, or... Maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch.
Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General? Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavet Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant. Good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then, the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot, and I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield!
General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian Hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this moon. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. 
but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's gonna be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire Second Fleet to provide cover for the Third and the Fifth to retreat. Hell, I've presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander. Com systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something.
I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. 
Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... a Prothean. Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos, but this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Galactic community, you think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, Finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are.
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. Alert! Northside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Return to dark space. Then we will rise a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Clarify. Sensors are damaged. 
Automated reactivation is not an option. You will remain in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they hit it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? 
No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind... I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide, until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. 
It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. a recording from Ferris Fields months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved, said goodbye, made my peace. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. For him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt this alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. And there's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. 
Let's hear it. SSV Normandy, this is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frohork. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Eat this! <laughs> Jack! Shepard?
putting out an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> Damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus... Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you, and get a pair ready to fly. <laughs> Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right, I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our fire. Take the casualties. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye.
Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. All right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. What, does she have a swear jar or something? Cause I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, 
Remember when you helped me get Keiji's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors serve the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor, with a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No. But you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting a war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. 
Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just have... Come here. God, I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and... I'm relieved. They aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. I just can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look. Change your name. Get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Izo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. 
He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news! The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's gotta be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. <coughs> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side, and I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. 
my favorite, gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I'll look forward to it. Shepard? Odina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. 
You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, Elsie. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. Over here. Okay. First deployment is something. Commander Shepard. It's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. 
Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know? In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name, Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard varin you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess, and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It... it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me! Those are my people! They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back! Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. 
But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have a Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable for Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials. Morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments, and meet me near the elevator. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Back on the Normandy, he said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. 
Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. And same to you, Dr. Tassoni. Major. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. How did you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on Tachanka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. Yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our medpay couldn't handle it. Security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind.
This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turian support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand-holding. Leave it to the Dalatresses. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. You'd do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. This is Senior Research Director Wicks, authorizing visitor access to lower level. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble readiness teams. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These... didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed. Data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. Get your elevator, Shepard. No more. No more dead. Oh, crap. Get back! Commander Shepard, are you 
all right? Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. And where's the exit? I can open it from here. Shepard. Shadow Roker. Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Not funny. Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in the STG could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Hurry! Next checkpoint! Stay back. Hostiles just down the hall. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. How do I not have one of those? Go, Commander! I'll cover you! Orion Squad, your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. your problem, Commander. You don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erdnot Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. Ha <laughs> ha. 
had me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest so speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk.
Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. That's all. Of course, Commander. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now? Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Commander Shepard. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Meeting with the Council didn't go too well, huh? Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use.
Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie, hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Shepard was starting to think you forgot my favorite hangout. Sorry, busy. Looks like you've managed to settle in. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along? We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. 
I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzer. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And <laughs> that, you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the Genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a Thresher Maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The Genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the Genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the Genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. 
The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. Asari Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. We'll always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution imperfect, health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right, to prove I can. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated, likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket, something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient, my responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Nice talking with you, Morton. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, mistakes. 
Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch's son. Huh. Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian coat is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Okay. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by reefer harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. Harvester incoming. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. 
My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they've faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turi. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Normandy Shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan Rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Placed for maximum yield. I advise haste, Commander. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. 
Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Commander! Firewall's down! I'm in! Spirits! Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate! Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! Cover me! Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice him more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over! His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. 
You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Any updates, Shepard? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlak Company. Grogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Weapons? They were only animals then, without technology. Violent, but useful. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappear forever. She wouldn't risk everything to start a war. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes. You are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters on the Normandy. You left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. Ask me later. <sighs> Whatever you say. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong, like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! Our exit is cut off. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on, 
What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. Shepard, we're blocked and getting overrun. <laughs> Hang on, Grunt. <laughs> Move it, Shepard! Stopping us. That was Reaper Tech. <clears throat> we ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Cliff. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Krogan, get ready! We've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. Move it! Damn it! Shepard, the Rock Knight are backing off. Whatever spook them won't last. Finish the job. Copy that. did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. I let you go back in Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of silence drowned us out. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. If the children return, they will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reavers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's badly wounded. She needs too much time to escape. 
Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here, or that company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Arlac Company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team! On my way! Commander? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Shuttles down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. It was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. Too busy talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on and I'm stuck keeping the peace. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Ragni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morton. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course, always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infections strained from scratch. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. 
constant global dispersion of air particles built by Solarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little piejack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. All hands, full stop! Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates! Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud Facility, finish synthesizing Cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message from the... Rex, it's Reap. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Ah! 
shepherds. Keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clans. <laughs> Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move! They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erdnot Reeve, brood brother to our... illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother, and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. The Salarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the Genophage. His kind gave us the Genophage. Why should we trust him? Because I do. And so will you. You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! <laughs> Trying to make up lost time. Shepard up. Reed isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the Genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions. Countless deaths. Creation of Genophage. Expansion plan problematic. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten? You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. Why are we stopping? Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. Not good at all. What's the holdup? Road's out. The convoy can't make it through. 
Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper are here. Oh. Oh. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. We have to build a new road. We're going. Shepard! I've lost control. I can't pull up. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Shepard, we're coming under the bridge. Get down here and we can get to the ship. Kalros! Rex! Break off! We're getting out of here! Territorial instinct confirmed! She's not gonna get us! Find you! Shepard, get over here! Make it quick, Rex. We're exposed. Move it! It's Kalroth! Move, Shepard! We're in. Go! What about Reed? No way he survived that. But he was a pain in the ass, anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower... I don't know. We're curing the Genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Solari destruction would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. 
Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! Now, let's show them why. Go! I've got this! I am Earth at Rex! And this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosions likely to be problematic. More? No! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Thank you. 
Classic bypass. Standard fail safes. Excellent work. Yes, yes. Temperature now within acceptable range. Dispersal commencing. Genophage cured. Krogan free. New beginning. For all of us. <laughs> A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're gonna defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know.
It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden, back on Vermeer. He died buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, you might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. 
Not a lot else. But if he's inside... One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all! That remains to be seen. I mean, Udina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the Council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the Councilors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there.
What was that? Gunman, get down! Go! Damn it! Cerberus hit the shuttle! Everybody back to the elevator! Shepard? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No, you're not. Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this! Gun! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palava. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Udina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Can I help you? I'm looking for a Drell named Thane Krios. 
Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stabbed it. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Kolyat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Bane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalihira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalihira and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Call yet? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Shepard! You saved my life again. What happened? 
Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off-grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people, Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Pressure's okay. No Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> But someone on Eratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <laughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. If you're so remorseful... If you have any real guilt, show some mercy. Plug this machine. Let me join my family. Oh. <laughs> Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. 
They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We'd need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. I don't have that. Here, at least let me send you my dissertation. Maybe it'll help a little. Anyway, good luck fixing the Metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispensers should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey! That's him! That's my Cerberus contact! Hey! Hey, you! You're under arrest. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Shepard... I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? 
That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he showed up again on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. 
And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and the Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What'd you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or... did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal. But it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, Best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. 
and not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <laughs> what didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Commander. You settle again, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. You're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. 
Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Dig up any information on the mission, Lyra? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Sorry, commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. 
Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words. With pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. She can't be. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila!
not your slave. Rayla, it wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all... Let. Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Arda Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Intel's pretty damn slim. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive.
why Cerberus abandoned this place. Pretty damn chilly. All right. Just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? We can't hold them much longer. Push! Push forward! Maybe we can flank these guys. Nice. Watch for it. James! Eyes peeled, sir! All clear. Any civilians left? Jacob, how bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Shepard. This is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. You know... Commander Shepard. Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element, not a monster, who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. 
Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How the hell did you go dark with so many in tow? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? That just upped the ante. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Let's do this. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like... How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit service, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. 
You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less... valuable work, he disappeared. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here! Roger that. J. 
Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Area cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reavers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Are you Bray? Uh, 
the great Commander Shepard, <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Arya. Follow me. So where is she? Shepard. Aria, how dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega? This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships we're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say... I want you all to myself. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Arya and I will meet you on the command ship. Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. Shipped four to one. And most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Cruiser, I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Lance. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow.
Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Signal the fleet through the relay. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the General. Should be interesting. Put him through. Arya. I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard. I've heard great things about you. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Escape pods made it. All right, what's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's out of defense so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Aria relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? 
That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support munitions. You'll see. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. There's a good chance the General knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. One of my soldiers, by the way. What the hell is he doing? Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Arya Talok. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels... My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyreen Kandros, ex Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. So why are you back, Arya? To reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything.
General's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. We're in, lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah, I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. The fact I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just... couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Nyreen has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Nyreen never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. Right. Keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. Talk to me, Az. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready. But if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyreen. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last-minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. I 
know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. I appreciate it, Nairi. We're heading out soon. I can almost taste it, Shepard. Once we stop the leeching of the reactor, my path to the General will be clear. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. We don't have time to waste. Is there something you want to talk about? What happens when we bring the force fields down? The people revolt. Chaos ensues. And we lead the Talons and my forces on a wanton path right through the General's command center in afterlife. A bloodbath. It's true. When the force fields come down, all hell breaks loose. 
But as far as I'm concerned, all the blood's on Petrovsky's hands. Do you think Nyrene's over whatever happened between you? It was a long time ago. But Nyrene's the type that doesn't forget. I run roughshod over most people, and if the tracks I leave aren't deadly, they're at least permanent. As different as we are, I don't wish her ill. So long as she doesn't get in my way. Is your hatred for the General getting the best of you? I'd say it's bringing out the best in me. The man has turned Omega into a prison and a launch pad for Cerberus campaigns. You should hate him too. I, for one, can't wait to finally get my hands on him. I won't bother you with more questions. All right, when you're ready, I'll meet you and Nyrene at the exit by the med bay. We're arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! Unload on it. Wake up! Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. I commend you. Your plan of attack was impeccable. Looks like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! What the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. We'll do it your way, then. Nereen! Max! Thousands of people perish. You hearing this, Arya? Yes, and I don't care. Shut it down. Shepard, don't. 
Drive rerouting power away from the force fields. Damn it. Hold tight down there. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. Are you crazy? We're almost spent. Nyreen, watch your flank. This is who you're working for, Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. What are you waiting for? Overload the reactor. She'd just throw thousands of lives away. Shepard, Nyreen's down. I'm stabilizing. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload. Now. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you win, Omega loses. Enough. Units, battle stations, prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. You okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me, your soft heart almost cost me everything. Quiet, Arya. It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud him. I suppose. Whatever. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Arya, right here. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be setting explosives to the station's central support columns. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up? Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels. Got it. bombs just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing through the Gozu district. 
Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to Afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Where's Nyrene? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife.
Nyrene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. They are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. Hold the perimeter! Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Aria? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. For my partner and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. Take him, Shepard. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Taloke. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking Alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable lives. Who knows? You and I may even become friends. That's not happening. Bray, get him out of here. you for a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. This victory came at a cost, Arya. It's not soft to recognize that. 
You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this. Command Center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. Wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... ...and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station, and everyone inside it, is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. We are Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm 
glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Shepard, there's a problem. All tunes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. We're having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Much. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing I'd rather not solo the Dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Got it. You're clear to board. See any action? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. So where are we headed? 
We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Oh. Vents. Always the vents. You did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire! The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Console is operational. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait. If I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. That's definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Good to see you, Legion. We'll have you out of there in no time. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily, or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. 
So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. <sighs> Got it. Tully's order to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. <laughs> Disable the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming! Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect target. This is exactly the kind of short-sighted, bloodthirsty behavior I was worried about. If you could retake Earth with a little friendly fire, you'd do it in a heartbeat. You're lucky I need your ships, Admiral. I've got to get back to the Heavy Fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Boshtet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait! Everybody calm down. 
Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings as well? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades. Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No, 
Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Commander. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Tally. I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. 17 million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me... If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Ash? Oh. What have we here? Oh, sir. I'm off duty. Your voice? Sir, not so loud. Please, thank you. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I... Oh. My head... so heavy... can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Maybe 40. I swear. 
Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? It's empty. Oh boy. You know, I think it might be time to test the fire alarm. I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, sir. Two million, and we have a deal. <sighs> You're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the comm. I hate you. I hate you... Sir. As you were, Williams. Mm. Cold floor. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth, and fought harder than anyone else for his home world. Shepard could handle any weapon in the galaxy. The Alliance never saw a deadlier soldier. He was a soldier, and a leader. One who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well... I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkoris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears El Corus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact him. Be sure to be 
Zen? Admiral Zen. Well, this should make things interesting. We'll see you in a minute. Take us in to the tower. anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors, My message. Send out the distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Darn hats. I... Uh, I clean ancient parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There, there were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Corus can get us, out alive and my son tell him tell Jonah that his father made it to the whole world we will rest well Dorn has the Vassaranok let's get to that tower you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Welcome aboard. Shepard, 
My crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello? This is Zelt Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I returned. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back? Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. And they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Get Fighter Squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that Fighter Squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. 
I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. to consensus remains still. Shepard Commander, excess movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Establishing connection to access point. This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. Connection blocked by infection. 
active code. Use our combat stop part to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then, thanks. I think. Accessing data cluster. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the BI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gan. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. And sister, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed restoring. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the quarians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Good point. This data cluster contains information timestamped 290 years ago. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown connects. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? Let's cut the other. You may proceed to the last data cluster. We've got escaped guests! They're pinned! Open fire! One going for a weapon! So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic gap following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. As far as the connection with the remaining server. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Have you come under attack, Admiral Ron? The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. Programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Out of the way! You can't do this to them! I said step away from the guests! This is insane! We need the guests! You can't just destroy them for asking for oh. us! Time's up! Throw her in. Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Geth. You did it now. This data comes from a period during which the creators declared martial law. Release the rogue Geth units and come out of the safe house. This is your final warning. Creator Magara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds creator safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnel then. Oh! Creator Magara, what is your status? Creator Magara? As time passed, the creators who opposed martial law and Rana were ultimately outnumbered. 
Accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rana. The hospital is down. Do not engage the guests. I repeat, avoid contact. Guest pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rana. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now. It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geths spared the last quarries? You let them go. We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not going to be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection with the remaining supernova established. We are ready to transport you. Shepard, how do you feel? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger. But they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe, and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Impressive, Commander. The Geth squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out.
The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. You know your limits. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't tell me about the upgrades. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth intelligences from the server, but this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. It should not apply here. I'm on your side here, Legion. I want to help your people. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? The Geth are better than this. No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. Yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion! Good luck. Acknowledged. I can't believe it. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The home world. My world. Look at the sky. And the rock formations. I used to write poems about them. When we're done, maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ramok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say, Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is, by the homeworld I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. The living room window will be right here. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much. But when this is over, I'll have a home. The Quarian spent centuries as nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. Well, that's a start. Get it done. Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. I recommend you withdraw to a safe distance. Firing. 
firing chamber. Looks like a weak point when it's priming. Damn it. The jamming towers have us targeting manually. We can't make a precision shot. We may escape before it recovers. No. Pull over. If we run away, the Geth stand are Reaper control and the Quarians are dead. This ends now. Edie, patch the Quarians to the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. Shepard Commander, good luck. Acknowledged. Shepard to fleet. I'll paint the weak spot. Wake up with the Normandy and be ready to fire. You know who I am? Harbinger speaks of you. You resist, but you will fail. The cycle must continue. What are you talking about? We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. We might surprise you. Killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch is. 
being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth fleet has stopped firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Talizora. All units, break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. I beg you, do not do this. Please. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships, this is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please. Kill us alive. All units, hold fire. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kilis and I. Commander! Admiral Run, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped... He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Rannoch Admiron with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We, the southern continent, had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you going to be okay? I believe so. 
Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> You okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I wasn't going to ask. I think you've earned a few favors with the fleet. I'm asking them to launch an assault on the Reapers. Figure that makes us even. If the Reapers were going to stay on Earth, sure. But sooner or later, they'll come to Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. You sure about this? Yeah. I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Haystrom. My father. Even Legion. I'm mourning a geth. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We're aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst? Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. I appreciate the help. It's you who will be helping us. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. He is under heavy Reaper attack. There's activity across most of the planet. What about the temple? Can you raise the scientists? Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. The mission's looking really dicey. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard, that's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle and let's do this. Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. 
It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Your empathy is a weakness. You must numb yourself to loss. Benezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I studied your old mission reports. Your mother was indoctrinated. Yes, we had to kill her. Yet it did not stop you from fighting. As I said, steal yourself. Many more lives will be lost. We can't ignore the people who die. The Reapers may not have mercy, but we do. It is their indifference that gives them power. Then let's show them there's another way. Time to mourn. We're exposed up here. Let's get down. The barrier's been breached! Commander, we'll talk later. Get on that gun up there and do some damage. Somebody better get on that gun. <laughs> to expect you. My orders are to hold this grid at all costs. Shore up the barrier! But our perimeter's collapsing, and I'm getting my people out of here. This is important. We need your help. Well, unless you can give me a good reason to stay, we're not dying for a field of rubble. We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No! you the lineage of a leader, a warrior skilled and cunning. They are strong in your genes. But you've grown tired of war. You're exhausted by defeat, and now you worry you don't have the courage left to go on. By the goddess, are you... Find your resolve. This war can end if you do. We're building a Prothean superweapon. It'll win this war. I believe it. This is Lieutenant Curran. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia. Make it count. I was here years ago. To see the city burning like this is... It can be rebuilt. Just worry about the next 20 meters. 
I still can't face those things. My own people. When we fought the Reapers, they've turned our own children against us. I can't imagine that. They assumed we would hesitate to kill them. Did you? What answer would you prefer? None. Let's stop talking about this. Trying to reach outpost Tychus. You're looking at it. What about the rest of your squad? They're all dead. We tried punching through to the scientists, but I'm all that's left. What about reinforcements? We had gunships flying support, but things got too hot with that Reaper. They can't chance it. I know it's rough, but I don't see another way in without their help. Have I told you how much I hate this war? Talon Swarm, this is outpost Tychus. Is there anybody left on this frequency? We are in need of immediate air support. Commander Shepard is here. Copy, this is Talon 1. I'm on the way. Talon 5 inbound. Ground targets confirmed. Weapons are hot. Light them up. Talon 1, watch the jamming. Target acquired. I'm hit. I think I can override it. Do religion and military always mix among us, Ari? No, this is unusual. Especially since few still follow the Athame doctrine. I'm guessing these are the scientists. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? The goddess Athame herself. It's a relic of the old faith. Then why does Athame speak Prothean? What do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though Athame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. There is a universal energy. There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? The Mars ruins are where humanity got Mass Effect technology. And we learned of it from the ruins of the Inusanum, the race that came before us. It was our secret for centuries. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. 
We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. Keep sir. The activation is complete. We can access the beacon now. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... ...last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post-Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Hold on! We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. Were all Protheans so grim? What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. There's still hope for this cycle. We need to know what the catalyst is. Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break the cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Then we'll be the first. Tell us what the Catalyst is. Listen to the human. He can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are Prothean. The last. I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? They have earned the right to try. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. You. You killed the scientists. What do you want? Your attention. Someone would like to talk with you. Shepard. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. 
You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard. Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? You've been spending too much time with the enemy. They're dragging you over to their side. Their way of thinking. No, I just see things differently. If you truly care about humanity, you'll stop fighting me. You'll join me. Don't ever question my intentions. I've sacrificed more for humanity than you'll ever know. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict, once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve him of it. And then bring me the data. Understood. Now, Shepard, it's a pity the good ones never last. There's only one way this ends. Cerberus thanks you for all your hard work. This is Shepard. Give us your location. I repeat, is anyone on this frequency? We read you. Give me your location. The lieutenant's down. The whole zone is collapsing. What happened to Shepard? Did they make it to the temple? I saw them. Wait, I've got a read one about. Please, is anybody there? Wait, oh, goddess.
pressure to interfere. Commander? Counselor. The mission. We've lost the contact with the It's time to keep dark. How soon will the Crucible be ready to deploy? Counselor. I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. What happened? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... I don't know what to say. What was the situation on Thessia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then you'll excuse me. There are... preparations to make. Continuity of civilization to consider. I never thought this day would come. None of us did. I'm... sorry. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard. I... Nobody could have predicted Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared. No matter what. And now Thessia's lost. As is the data on the Catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Um... Well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But... The signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure, but something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yera system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, sir. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Nice work, Trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Yera system. You were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the Catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Shepard. I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall... And knowing it was my responsibility. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now, staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here, too. So I say, point us at the Reapers, and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you could show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. This will be over soon. It better. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. That is an out. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. 
They contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley? Could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now, with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough is near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. 
Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan. But he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. All right. We have a match, marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. We're about five minutes out, Commander. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Do we know anything more about this Leviathan? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is Garneau, Dr. Bryson's associate, that we are looking for. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Agreed. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Grayson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. That will be... Hello? Yes. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. 
He would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The excess elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Commander, something is wrong here. Let's look around. Careful. Punch in Garneau's terminal hack and see what it gets us. Access granted. A ship dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. male was involved in an altercation in the mines. This guy no human was heading to the mines. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab, a low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I have the file number. Let's go get Garneau. Is that Garneau? It is difficult to tell. Dead humans all look alike. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you alright? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. been going on in this place I was doing my research until the incident they attacked you it's true but aside from my confinement I'm fine Bryson's research led me to you Bryson sent you he's dead doctor killed by his assistant I see I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. What of the artifact you spoke of in your message? I did? No. Yes, Doctor. You did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you up. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? Doctor? Leave the artifact. You will not take what is mine. I don't believe we are speaking to Garneau. You. You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring only death. Shepard, over here. What have you got? That was not Garneau. This is. It appears he's been dead for a while. So, Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data, and a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Anne Bryson. And Bryson. 
Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you all right? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... All right. That artifact, do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... Can you tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh, remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling, that's exactly what I felt. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was ten years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. These people are unaware of the past ten years. Many things will shock them. It now seems Leviathan not only has the power to destroy a Reaper, but possesses an indoctrination ability. What if it is a Reaper? If it is a Reaper, then I want to know what it's up to. How long has it been out here? And more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Garno's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. Whatever they are, their power and danger are clear. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scara paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garno, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garno on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. 
I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. I understand we have reports of an attack on a group of scientists. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional complications. Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostile! Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform! That's her. Okay, let's get... This! Tracking multiple bogies! Get us over there. Negative, it's too hot. Heading to lower platform, hang on! There, go! Jump! I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry, they didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh god. Yes, of course. was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Commander, look. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any Reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! doing they've activated it. I've never managed anything doctor they've learned to run uh, the darkness must not be breached Shepard take it out yes commander you okay Cortez we have Ann Bryson need a pickup Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of you. We cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, 
It certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first... Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space. Like a rogue. Or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father... is dead. I'm sorry. He's... What? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him. Hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Anne? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. Hello? Anne? Are you here? Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. It's so stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us, I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne, 
Sounds dangerous as hell. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. No! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. Man. Anne. Anne, are you all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes. But it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. It's a start. Commander, I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Given the circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters never to be trusted. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible? Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Then we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Go underwater? And that thing? It can handle the depth. Not saying it'll be easy, but I don't see any other options here, Commander. Well, if that's what we have to do, then let's finish this. Wait a minute. Are we seriously considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. 
How? It appears we are. These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. This plan, even I would hesitate. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Shepard. I'll be fine. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! What's happening? Your memories give voice to our words. Your nature will be revealed to us. Accept this. The galaxy's at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat. And I must understand why. Our kind was the apex 
of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for, but we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it... Harbinger. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination is not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle from the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. What's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment, evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. 
You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Ann. And 
Thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. So? What the hell do we know about this place? Edie? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Major firefight here, Commander. Yeah. Everyone hear that? Radio's down. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. They were evacuating. And? Looks like the Reapers were gunning for them. About time they started killing each other. This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay. So, we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? Power switch. This looks important. There. Power's out. Look around for a switch. What, 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 what am I seeing here? Th those are the refugees. The Reapers, what, what are they doing? They're killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks.
forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. You should keep them out of the entrance as well. Madre, she's gonna get blindsided. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Did I hear that right? This guy knows how to control Reaper troops? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. Found Cerberus out. Not good for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander. There's more. Take a look. Damn it. I hope she's ready. Shepard. The Commander oh! Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right, take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal. No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. 
I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone. Some basic facility information, shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a good start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communications scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortex. by my father. Cortex, we need Henry to pick Dawson. up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Severus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the Elusive Man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a forger. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port, you know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job. You genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. Come on, 
Commander, I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, how are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. I love this place. Hey Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe, and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change. Space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me, sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm Staff Analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me, Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think he's aware of that. Uh, no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath.
from the top. What do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Stop! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir. Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Yep. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. say that landing pad is over there but it's behind a locked gate let's look for a control panel I like your outfit a uh, control panel right I heard you fell through a fish tank we'll talk about it later a shame I quite liked that restaurant we'll talk about it later Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Rex? 
What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Professional. That's not a yes. It's not a no. Commander! Joker, we lost our ride. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes, that did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you, they said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tuchanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the hour's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. It won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, Art. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. 
but the truth is boring. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast veran leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Opint, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Commander, keep dressing like that and you'll have to catch me when I swoon. I might do more than catch you. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Liara. Time to meet the Riff Raff. <laughs> okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Use this. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. The splice is in.
guess. They were a few. I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Oh, hey, Commander. What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard. Khan, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? I see this conversation will be strictly one-sided. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You, I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy that trash-talked me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Thank you, Shepard. That was fun. Well, not so much for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. But how come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you? They bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel archives. Punch it up. The archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh... Who gets to take point with you? Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>
him. Who's going to pay the bill? What's the best way into the archives? The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. But don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with us. Sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses. Drop your weapons, or this won't end well for her. You bastard! All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide, where we can't find you. I'd... Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Uh-huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only Shepard that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me, I was created for spare parts, in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma. Until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why try to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Garrus Vicarian. You're nothing more than a burnt-out cop past his prime. And you're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfect. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today. Everyone else. We're having a little party up here with bullets. 
All right, everyone. Uncle Erdnot is back in town, and he brought the food. Is that a catchphrase or something, Rex? At this point, anything's possible. Like waking up and finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. Right. At least not until we've all had a stiff drink. How are we gonna find anything in this place? Glyph. Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Check this out. It says this gun was part of the first contact war. Year 2157. First time my people met yours, Shepard. Naturally, bullets were involved. Commander, the other you is searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone. Pretty crazy, even by our standards. Useful, though. Anything you don't want to do, Shepard, let them handle it. So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Right. So let your clone do it. Go! I'll cover you! Move! Now they're just fighting dirty. This is Shepard. We need... That's why I love hanging out with you guys. Why shoot something once? when you can shoot it 46 more times. The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. That can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? I'm not seeing one. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no, they're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for, well, forever. Others know about this, about you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. You're Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He is indoctrinated, whereas I prefer the whispers in my head to be my own. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Solarian Doctor, the Asari Justica, the Turian. Nice to have finally met you, Archangel. Charmed. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke him up. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear, if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. 
But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are, forced to contain the situation. Fair warning. Nobody who's betrayed us has ever survived. And yet, oddly, they keep trying. You two may think you're clever. And yeah, you were. Just a bit. But clever doesn't beat a bullet. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it a shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. <laughs> Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Crazy thought, but maybe we should be worrying about this impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever. How come nobody told me this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it, like some weird Earth custom or something. Probably not a lot of air in here either. An hour. If we're lucky. Maybe it's... I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, please. Why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh. Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. for Shepard plus two, and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. What? I had planned to accompany you. I know what you mean. I never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. This is why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Even if we lose the Normandy, we can go to the Council and prove you're the real Shepard. No. He changed the logs to make his biometrics the official ones. We can't prove anything. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? Don't worry. You'll get your ship back. We'd better. I just got the seat broken in how I like it. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. 
Get back and pick up the others, ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. And I don't even... Wait, what? You were just on the Normandy, you... You fired me, dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. That's Decision Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes, I told you that. And I remember, because I'm the real Shepard. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... Shepard's got a clone. Makes sense when you think about it. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. The engines are online. They're about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right... Here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? From this side, a very precise mass effect field, maybe. <clears throat> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy... I'd have been very skeptical. standing right in front of you. Are we clear? It's better this way. Wouldn't you rather take him down yourself? Armory. Find him. Slow him down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. I'll make a note of it. A little cramped in here. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Yeah, yeah. Get off my tail. Alright, get a patrol going. Find Shepard. The real one. Hey, what do you mean by slow him down? We're allowed to kill Shepard if we have to, right? He said slow him down. their people's history. Nope. So I'm the only one who misses when we used to chat in the elevators back on the Citadel. Yep. So disappointed. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. 
You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? Hatchet squad to the shuttle deck. That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky. Look at you. What makes you so damn special? Why you and not me? Hang on! Oh, we got you! <sighs> Thanks. What about this pie jack? Here, take my hand. And then? And then you live. For what? Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. 
Not sure if you noticed, but Shuttle Guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give him some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya, I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more some. No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape, come back for revenge. Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for his life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> Then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, he wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. When well, the old days, we've just shot her. Huh. Good times. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Well, what happens on shore leave stays on shore leave. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Don't know about no explosions. But just us sounds perfect. <laughs> so, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We partied down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait. I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right. But when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. 
I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turians swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. 
I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Too many. But fighting the Alliance... 
must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Until we killed Korlak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. Be waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. 
Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian. Asari, Hana, there was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. 
Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Shepard, thanks for coming. I wanted to be here for you, Ash. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he'd put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister is waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. You give me strength. Thank you. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, 
But when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that? This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We're at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda, but I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess. Really? It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. 
You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Shame you never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. Tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I threatened to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, Good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. That tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. That sounds great, Ash. But right now, I can't focus on anything but you. Well now. Those big, powerful Citadel arms giving you ideas, Commander? Maybe. Then maybe I have something to ask you. What? Well, you've seen me at my worst. Totally embarrassing. You were there for me when my baby sister was suffering. I've held a gun in you, Shepard. I'm just saying, we've been through a lot. I have to know. Are we going somewhere? I want more, Ash. I can't see myself with anyone else. That's good. I'd hate to have to punch out whichever table-dancing tart is throwing herself at you this time. Such a romantic. You love it. Now get over here. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Well, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way, too. I know. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. 
Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. Bring the medical supply. Shepard, you made it! Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy? You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. I'm hurt. Why aren't you looking over here? Who said I'm not? But I know you've got a lady waiting for you. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. <laughs> You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Said? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looks simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go to? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? Goddamn right I do. Okay, then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. 
We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And... action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed... Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Rothian, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. The cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's over half brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Telecasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genophage. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um, hmm.
hello. And... Hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent overall. Oh, thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? Show me. See? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. This is your game of skill? Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? A shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Yes! That all you got? 
Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. Is that all you got? Come on, come on, come on! Boom! Killed it! Serious. Yeah! Take it, wins! Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up, Everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, Grunt. use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kefesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? 
I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maiden's tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. I'm looking for a Lieutenant Williams. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the pretender? Whatever you say, Williams. Line them up. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. Glamorous and beautiful Superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry as pretender, next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. You did not just say that. I sure did. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. I've seen how you deal with a few drinks, Williams. Very messy. Ancient history. You know, I expected better from you. I'm saving my best moves for later. Best moves? At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. I'm on a roll. Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. Uh, you may have to. This was a good idea. Yeah, it was. You ready for round two? Bring it on. Hey! My friend doesn't like Alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like Alliance types either. Rain check? Yeah. What the hell do we know about this place? Edie? The sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. 
Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. This is Oriana Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Major firefight here, Commander. Yeah. Everyone hear that? Radio's down. Something's jamming our signals. Explain no comms leaving the facility. They were evacuating. And? Looks like the Reapers were gunning for them. About time they started killing each other. This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay. So, we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? A security panel. Shutting it down. What the hell? What's going on here? I don't know. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Power Whoa. switch. This looks important. There. Power's out. Look around for a what, switch. What? 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 What am I seeing here? Th those are the refugees. The Reapers. What? What are they doing? They're killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. monsters the reapers attacked because this place was a threat we need to find out why shutting down the power reaper forces have made a mess of the facility I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down we should keep them out of the entrance as well
Madre. She's gonna get blindsided. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Did I hear that right? This guy knows how to control Reaper troops? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. Found Cerberus out. Not good for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander. There's more. Take a look. Damn it. I hope she's ready. Shepard. A Commander oh! Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right, take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal. No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Ling. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. 
For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone. Some basic facility information, shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a good start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortex, by my father. Cortex, we need Henry to pick Dawson. up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the Elusive Man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda. I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a forger. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie.
Hey, loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. Nice view, but this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah, and the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. How do you make it work? I wouldn't know how to survive otherwise. I'm a soldier, but I'm still human. I hear that. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit, right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Chef. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through war-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything. Even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously. A trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around, in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Colyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. 
But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila. So many feelings. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. Definitely. When this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? 
I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah, saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. Shepard, I... What are you doing? Making sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. 
We should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shepard. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Shep, who's it gonna be? You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega! I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man. The game started. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Yes! They did it! Now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And everyone knows, you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we gonna stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. You sure you want to leave that here? 
I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust. And cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. <laughs> hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. Get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. You got it. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? 
Kali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this, as friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. Every chance I get. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. Okay, okay, and okay. probably broken. <laughs> that sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant <laughs> systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest? You or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. <laughs> what I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! 
I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> <laughs> now the party's started. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. Drink! I'm drinking! But it's not a drinking game. Afraid to lose? Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepard! Shepard! Shepard? Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepard. Shepard. Shepard? Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard! Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. Tattooed human, I would like to touch you. <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? Um, why is Javik getting all touchy-feely? Hey, collector-looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. That does not happen until the end of the party. <laughs> <laughs> Commander! Javik? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided drinks. Sure. Uh, you might want to tap the brakes a little. Everyone having a good time? Will there be food available soon? You're hungry, Edie? No. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwise. I can eat. In my sight, we had food. Many of varieties. You feeling okay? I am Prothea. I never feel okay. Well, this drink is changing that. Hmm. Know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <sighs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sorry, Dury, Barry, and Cory. Is there any we could spare? Hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been employing a socialization protocol feature that came with this unit. It is called Smile and Nod. Okay, I'll see about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Beverages. More would be preferable. No. I'll check for more snacks when I get a chance. Thanks. When you get around to it. No rush. Nice party. And relax a bit yourself, okay? We'll see. Of course, the SR2 is much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. 
<laughs> That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. But if you move further up, it's more of a... <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. <laughs> of course. Over by the med bay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting? I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR-1 was a decent ship, but the SR-2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR-2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. We wouldn't have the SR-2 if it hadn't been for the original Normandy. I'll never forget the time we spent on that ship. It meant a lot. It meant a lot to me, too. Yeah. Uh, so guys, how about that whole clone thing? That was weird, right? You know what I'm talking about? Ah, this place is a goddamn joke. Sight lines aren't bad. One point in its favor, and I'm supposed to be impressed. And what the hell is this supposed to be? What are you guys doing over here? Looking at this poor excuse of an apartment, that's what. What's wrong with it? What would you do if another one of your clones broke in here, eh? Offer them a cup of tea? Ah, there are too many windows, and they're, they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movement. But it's got potential. Be easy to set up a defensible position over there. I'd extend a wall out, prevent someone sticking you in the back. Mm, 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 good idea. Mm. Wish I could have done that back in the day on Omega. Why don't you two relax and enjoy the party? The apartment's fine. Fine? Huh. Suppose tomorrow it's Liara's clone that comes after you. Mm. Or Joker. Yeah, him. Twitchy little guy. Might already be a clone. An evil one at that. All right. Have fun. Shepard, you moved the Normandy's main battery into here, and I think I'm home. So, Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, oh, or something. Uh, that was when I thought she was a VI. Anyway, you'd just better treat her right, Moreau. Oh, somebody jealous? I think you had a better shot when she looked like a holographic chess piece trainer. I wouldn't have said chess piece, precisely. But listen, the point is, you hate AIs. You had to overcome all your hang-ups, whereas I was totally fine with AIs to begin with. Other fish in the sea, trainer. Not with that voice. It's like feeling smoky satin slide across your skin in soft candlelight. Just... Mm. Wait, are you two arguing over Edie? No! <laughs> Probably not. Okay, you know she smashed my head against the side of a shuttle? I know! Twice! I heard it from Liara! That was like forever ago. Plus it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. Yeah, what the hell was I thinking? Probably just brain damage making me touchy. Apology accepted. You know, it's not healthy to just bottle these things up. 
the hell is up? Oh, still creepy, Kasumi. Well, I'm glad you two are drunk enough to finally deal with this. Oh, we weren't planning to deal with it. We're just happy giving each other shit. We can call Edie over, and you can discuss your feelings like mature adults. What? No. That would be weird. Just... just no. You don't think she knows? You guys, she's the Normandy AI. She sees every extranet site you browse. Note to self, delete browser history. I can show you how to set up an automated task for that. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I can tell when someone is hiding something from me. Commander, can you believe Doc's never played poker? How are the lessons going? The Asari still refuses to take risks. Victory does not come without cost. You're not even playing. Doc's not much of a gambler. Be glad we are not participating in one of the games from my cycle. You would all lose horribly. Aw, oh, be nice to Liara. You're going to have your hands full with me anyway. Adios. How long have you been there? Well, my willingness to gamble aside, this has been a wonderful evening, Shepard. Glad you guys are having fun. It's nice to see people relax and let their thoughts. Is it done yet? The recipe calls for more curry. Are you sure? That seems like a lot. The recipe is very specific. I have measured the proper volume to the nearest milligram. Is it done now? I'm not disagreeing, Edie. I'm just saying that that's a lot of curry. If we do not follow the recipe, we risk creating something that tastes offensive. But recipes adapt over time as tastes change or as foods are carried to new cultures. Also, I'm allergic to curry. Are you gonna be done soon, or do I need to go eat a keeper? Everybody okay? The entertainment efficiency of the party was falling due to inadequate food supplies. Ouch. Do not be concerned. I am compensating. I just wanted her to heat something up. Now she's cooking. With a vengeance. Edie, I appreciate the help, but parties aren't about efficiency. A party is a collective event among like-minded individuals. It requires teamwork and an understanding of group dynamics. You did not pass through the Omega-4 relay to assault the Collector base without preparation. Why should this be any different? Because it's a party. Nobody's gonna die if we do it wrong. I'm really hungry, Shepard. But if you were to ask a team member to select the music and you chose Jeff, the results would be disastrous. I would never choose Jeff for the music. No, I should do music. I can help facilitate a positive environment. I'll hold the line at the snack table. Agreed. You see, Shepard? A party is a social construct that can be designed for maximum efficiency. Well, good luck with that. Bring him back alive, Edie. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody has punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. Mycroft filaments, the answer. All right, Garrus, I gotta go. What are you doing? Hmm, uh, nothing. Just, uh, admiring the polish on this glass. Good. Don't tell him. He won't understand. Try me. Oh, it's just... Well, one man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. Oh, now you're in for it. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and boom! They're shredded to pieces. Weaponized wall fixtures, Shepard. Wave of the future in home defense. Uh-huh. Trust me, if I had this back on Omega in my Archangel days, there'd be even more dead mercs. If you say so. Just try not to scratch the finish. The best, but go on. All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got your beat. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shuttles. Only slightly less cool than dropping from the Normandy in a Mako. And I bet you couldn't handle the Normandy. Wait, <laughs> didn't you get the first one blown up?
So the first Normandy kind of evaporated. I liked that one. There were some tough fights back then. Those were battles to remember. A maniac running loose. Geth putting people on spikes. Yeah, don't remind me. Never thought I'd be part of the crew that defeated a deranged plant monster. What was that rogue Spectre Saren like? Oh, totally crazy. Walked around like a marauder, glowing eyes and everything. And yet the Council still didn't believe Shepard. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I saved the Normandy single-handed? Yeah, right. It's true. For sure. I was there. I'll vouch for him. Collectors boarded the Normandy. I only had a minute to come up with something to take him down. So you unshackled an AI. Always a good plan. I don't hear anyone complaining about Edie now. Yes, we're all glad she didn't turn out to be an evil robot. <laughs> Weren't you complaining earlier about how she smashed her face in? We're losing focus. Edie wasn't a robot back then. And when the Collectors took over, she was still shackled. So it was me, saving the Normandy by myself. Single hit. Yes, you did. Good man. Tally, are you okay? Yep. Yeah. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You want to know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull, being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. Because I'm hardcore, like Ezo. Jack suggested it. Remind me to talk to Jack in the morning. Where'd you get the Omni tattoo anyway? Down in the lower wards, near the bottom. I meant where on your body. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one from Liara. Get some rest, Tally. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. <laughs> How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Runt, keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader, my hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. 
Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well... And we're both good-looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure of what it is. I like the way the colors blend, and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Naid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no! I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? It's all true. Tolly, please stop helping. No, he's like a brother. What's wrong, you two? I am asking specialist trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> there's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair's fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. 
Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward? Awkward. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying... <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean... Check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. I mean it. Check me out. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley, check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey, guys. Dr. Chop? No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. 
makes you angry at every loud noise. Please, Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. Jeff. Yes, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So I won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. <laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Yeah. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. Could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. But do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously? Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You OK, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then? Watch and learn. Hell yeah! Ah, go for it! <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Captain on deck. Has he always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Who's here? Is it morning already? Good morning. I love watching you wake up. Let's see if anyone else is up. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. Shepard, good morning. I am going to die. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? Hey, you look like shit. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javin, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Morning, Shepard. Had a lovely time last night. Shepard? Morning. I need a floor to curl up on. I think I broke my head on something last night. Oh, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night.
Morning, chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, the Asari. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right, but whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we leave the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Everything's ready, Shepard. What about you? Are you ready? Let's get it done, and go home. We're not getting off that easy, Ash. <laughs> no. We looking at a rough ride? Ash, I get what you're trying to do. Hey, no brushing me off. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not brushing you off. I'm just thinking about everyone we've lost fighting this war. I understand. And do I ever. You know, I was lost without you, Shepard. 
When I thought you were dead, it broke my heart. And then you found your way back. It was a miracle. Screw the science. It was a damn miracle, Shepard. I couldn't do this without you, Ashley. When I first saw you back on Eden Prime, I didn't know my life would change. Maybe I was scared to admit that I'd found something I'd been looking for my whole life. You don't need to say anything, Shepard. No, I do. I love you. I doubted you once, Shepard. And I lost you. That's not happening again. Just shut up and kiss me. I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. What are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. The bullet must have just grazed me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? You first. Huh. Very fair. What I want most is for this war to end, while there's still a galaxy left to save. And everyone's counting on you to do that for us. It must be overwhelming. How do you get ready for something like this? You cajole, and threaten, and make tremendous sacrifices until the galaxy realizes it has someone worth following. You think so? There's no doubt in my mind. <sighs> it would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away. Where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. I love you, Shepard. I love you too, Liara. Show me.
You can't sleep? We're almost there. Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. There will be casualties. I just wonder how many. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Launching fighter. Impressive. The central lab was located behind this hangar. 
I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Edie, can you get past? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Pretty stark. You okay? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. Well, I don't know. I... It'd be surprising if it didn't mess you up a little. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as he knows, we're a terrorist organization. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He really had you boxed in. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. You did what you had to, Shepard. And I was there with you. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Sneaky little bastard. Use them to keep you from seeing the real Cerberus. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. 
It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable. But the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong. But I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is... amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the Catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard? He should have died on Thessia. Should I finish him? No. I'm not writing Shepard off as a total loss just yet. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Looks like the human proto-reaper we killed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those colonists kidnapped, processed into that, and Cerberus hangs it up like a trophy. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? I think he did. He just cares more about studying it. The dead are only a statistic now. Somehow, that seems even worse. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core. Analogous to the heart is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. We 
Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work as Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No. We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it.
Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we use their own technology against them? Precisely. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. This is better than Thessia. More personal. Shut up! 
That was for Thane, you son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of conserving information for future species. Perhaps you will succeed where we fail. You didn't fail. You gave us a chance. And we're not done yet. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. You're a credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship. It's cruel. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that? But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, Seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive? That would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale. The Ice Canals of Judah IV. The Palisades of the Verome Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Are you okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? In 
indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Oh! Oh, we were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye and, well... Uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. You remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Torian Spectre watching us? Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was gonna be bigger than we thought. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission gonna be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's gonna end, but whatever happens... What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass, that's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Hack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. 
While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We're ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Sorry, fleet's reporting. Quarian fleet's accounted for and ready. Get fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command.
breaking off. Preparing for descent. Shepard. Good luck. You too, Joker. and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Sorry, Shepard. I know it isn't easy. I barely even recognize it. Shit! We got a lock! Hold on! Damn it! Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're going to take out that Hades cannon. On foot? That'll be a challenge. That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. With you, Shepard. Damn it, I'm ahead. Steve! I'm all right. You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Anything for you. Fire that thing right down its throat. out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you would. It's good to see you. And your sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started, and Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. 
I was bored in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's correct. I expected more of Hama would be here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... I know it's hard to see, but this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man, and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey. Good luck out there, loco. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? 
Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay, Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. <sighs> Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? Depends on whether you got the Crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're away south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bring a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the Monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now. It gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, sir. Shepard? How are you holding up? Restless. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. Lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero man. It always comes down to this. 
Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier, a Spectre. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Commander. Okay. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? <laughs> huh. Uh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. Think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then, we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. We've got hostiles on the perimeter! Casualties. We lost people. Some of the wounded here won't make it. The Reapers are closing in. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. Those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. We'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Of course I do. Close your eyes. to be done. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. 
The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard, the faces of my men, I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest, and then I will join them. You mean? It is as it should be, Commander. The last Protean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you were their conqueror. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Kara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. Name me one. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Talizor of Us Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move up. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. 
That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Let's move before the Reapers realize what we're up to. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here. If we get close enough, we've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Who yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them.
Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer is being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. We're fighting our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold on. Goddess more are coming? Hold on, everyone. We can do this. We're about to find out. Here they come. everything you've got. Didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Packard just reported in. Several sovereign class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. I'm honored to be part of your team. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it.
We gotta move! Come on! Argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens. Everything to me, Liara. Always will.
Shepard. Anderson. You up here too? I followed you up. But we didn't come out the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? You okay? I feel like death. But I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a Reaper in here? Oh. Sure. And they round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on it. Anderson! Anderson. Shepard! I can't! I underestimated you, Shepard. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you! I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit! 
We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do! I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... No, it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! <clears throat> they have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I try, Shepard.
Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Shepard? Commander? I... What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard! I don't see... I'm not sure how to... Wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst. What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. 
I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. The Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve. But it was the only solution. You said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence. But those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. 
What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Mm. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the Crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the Crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The, the cycle, cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open. But you have to choose.
head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. There is no choice. We must go. Now.
The war is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child, every civilization, on every world. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this, and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars 
could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. <laughs> <laughs>